Hey guys, welcome to. Banjo Kazoo, let's say. So, in this video, we are going to be doing Banjo Kazoo. So, I'm going to be quiet while this cuts from. I mean, cuts in plays. about the background noise, you know. I can't help with the kids watching TV. And yes, I have paid for this game, but right now I'm just emulating it to recording the movies. But I have bought this game because I have it on my original 64, and I have it on my Xbox, and I had the role play version. Not just that. So that is Gun Tread of the Witch. If you couldn't tell so far by what you've seen, she is jealous of Tootie, and your sister's lips and her lips are together. Stay in just over here, okay? Uh -huh. Who's going home? I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> I don't think it was a fall, baby. Alright, so that was the cutscene. We are lagging a little, I think. I can't tell. No, we're not. So, this is Bottles. Listen up on Bottles, the short-sighted man. I'm Bailey Gold, and this is my buddy Kazoo. I'm not going to do voices for all of them. Buddy, do you see my bottle boy? So basically, the witch just took down her sister, and we have to go save her. And I'm not, I'm not reading all these. You can read them. Bottles, just telling us he can train us, and 
if you need me not, just because I am the newest, I'm going to not take training. Because we're already good enough. But we do have to get some stuff. Okay, so it's so easy. So it is. Okay. But yeah, it's kind of laggy. Yeah, let me pause that and see if I can fix that. Oh. Okay, that's the tasty honey. Let me pause real quick. Alright, hopefully that fixed everything. What we want to do is we want to get all these, these little four things. These, they extend your health. So when you get like face and bag on this stuff. Oh, it it's easier to do with them. And once you collect however many of them you need, I'm not sure what they're talking about. You get more health. Overall, like a total health, let's figure out the whole thing. Like where you are. And when you run out, well, I'll just have to see what happens. If we run out, okay, so it's just not possible. Alright, I'm here. Alright, I'm getting used to the controls because I'm using a PlayStation controller and it's a lot different than that. Okay. Like the controller I have on. I mean, this is by no means a speed run, it's not a speed run, it's just, really it's just a turn, not a turn, but we will definitely be 100% running the game. Okay, so we are almost done collecting the honeycomb pieces. There it is. This. Here we go. We have to break every single one of these rocks and we'll get the next one. I think the reason I'm lagging right now is because I am also uploading my Minecraft Let's Play video. And that is probably causing a little bit of a lag because I'm doing it from data. You see, watch this. Once you play all six, that's the health. And that goes over the whole game. And it's very useful towards the end of the game because the enemies are uh, a lot more common and harder to die. Oh, why is this chain shaking? And it's a bottle of the game. So you're ready to tackle the witch now. You should all play for that out of the way. Box the bridge in the front corner of the fire. Look out for the inside of the way. Over. Is there... Uh oh! Okay, so if you fall from so far, you will take damage. Which, we could have taken damage from that fall, but since we had to do it, we just did a double jump. Well, the flat flip, I think that's what they're called, or whatever it is. Sorry about this part of the game, I'm not sure why it's so good. It's kind of Let's try this again. Or you're going to go. Alright, now we're going inside of the gun of the witch's lair. So here should be a little cutscene. Let's go into the witch. Thank you. So basically this machine is fine to protect my code. You make me young and too young. So 
so Stevie's gonna poop Green Turtles, I mean, Banjo's gonna come and poop Green Turtles back, that green guy is Kondo, he's like Green Turtles minion. If the Banjo doesn't say that she's gonna switch their looks. Which I will let you see what that looks like at the end of this video. So this is a Disney. And these are basically the collectibles that allow us to progress through the game. Like in the next world. Once you get enough of these, you can go to the next world. Because you have to complete puzzles. Like actual put together puzzles. So there's only one missing right here. So we're going to put it up there. And that's just bottles telling us how to do it. We've got the first piece of the ball. Great. To fill in the missing pieces on the picture, press A. If you don't want to use any jigsaw pieces, press B. So obviously, we're going to go to the first one. So, we're going to go to the first one. And then we're going to be done for this video. And then Gwen told it does little rhymes the whole time while we're in her way to tease us and that. So there are three new ones to learn in the next game. And we will learn a lot of them. Hopefully, we can get done with this world quickly and we'll have a little fun with it. Like I said, I can't tell if it's lagging or if it's just me. It kind of looks like it's freezing up a little bit. Let's get these. You can also press A, I believe it is, on the to slowly gather notes. I mean, to slowly swim. It's weird. The reason I'm trying to do so much background noise. I'm in a room, like a hotel room. Because I'm talking. 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 And, uh, I can't just talk. I don't believe I'm talking. I'm talking. So, I probably need to fix that after this video. I'll click the link as well if you're a This is Kongo. I feel like he's like a reference to Dr. Kongo. Or he might have been in one of the Donkey Kong games at some point, I'm not sure. But, yeah, you have those, these oranges at those spots, and, like you just saw, and you were gonna do it. So that is already the first jiggy of the world, if you return to the start area. We will, okay, I didn't actually explain it these guys. These are so basically, they also help you progress, but they're not as, they're kind of see as the game goes wrong. They're not as important as to these, but you still need a lot of those. And hopefully the media from the game is not too loud so you can hear it. So now he's gonna teach us how to shoot eggs. So here's where I'm gonna test and see if my button diamonds work. Okay, let's stop for a second. So I might have to change them around, but hopefully I don't have to. Alright, now I have fixed 
game settings back, so you should be able to go. I will fix the damn seat that makes it this way. Uh, first one more thing that fix my back. You know what I'm gonna go fix that too. Alright, now it should be fixed for that. So what's going on? Try this again. That didn't work. Yeah, I'll fix it up. So I gotta set up my I'm not sure why but the D-pad does not want to work with the C button for me. So that is why. Oh goodness. Watch this. So there is a path to go the other way, but we will have to come back to that so we need to aid and not leave for that. So here's a little animal so we're going to start collecting the gear. So let's go get that, those moves, other two moves, and then we will come back to the And the game starts to go off that scenario that you can fix. Oh, I forgot to hide the navigation bar. There we go. Oh, there we go. It doesn't bother me too much. There are 10 gigs. Per page as well. So we're gonna get every single one of them each time. And if this is a one of those four, you got it to see if that is useful or not. Now, here, let's get a next move. Talon Talk. The Talon Talk allows us to conquer steep coats by arriving on Kazoo. Oh, and if we're missing some life, we will fill us back up. Not that it needs to be because it's just going to be over here. I'm just saying, just make sure you be able to get around faster. And I don't like moving slow in the game. So right now, I have to come in here because you can't get any higher than that right now. But you will be able to in a minute. And I'm going to do this by doing my next move. This move is going to allow us to the ground pound on top of these little cut things and break them. Also using Kazoo, because Kazoo is like the most useful person in the whole game. Banjo is just like... Banjo doesn't do a lot in this game. Banjo is still my favorite. So yeah, hopefully after this video I'll have to log down bits. I'm not sure what's causing it, because I know this anywhere that runs really smooth. I don't want to say what kind of runs. I'm not doing it right now. 
I probably will for two. Put this in that corner for me. So, you always want to come up here and do this. And then, you shut off. Because you can't get that uh, little honeycomb without being a uh, guest. We will come inside the units in a minute. We don't need to go in there yet. There you see more company to go in there. I'm going to go to that house place. And like, I really want to go to that place to go to the next one. There's little creatures you spend stuff on those There's also that like, four or five of them, so they want to eat bread and things like that with them. They give you a to be as well. Should be four. Yeah, there is. Alright, so Mumbo, if this Mumbo is in the channel. Sorry about that, I reached the maximum time so I didn't have my recording. So I had to kill me recording with it. Anyways, this is Mumbo, he is. He says he's the best channel in the game. And he does as he turns us into different things to accomplish it. Like you see all the time. He has turned us into a termite. Now what the termite can do is he can turn up walls and help the other termites. But they still won't work. They will still hurt us. We're gonna go up this way. So normally as long as I can do, you can have to get these little spikes. And if I were going to let you saw me go up. And since he wants a backpack. 
Alright, now we have got every honey tree in the stage. So now what we need is to add the sticky and the last honey piece. There are two honey comb pieces in every stage. We've already gotten that first one. So we need one more. I'm not gonna grab those eggs. I can't get eggs somewhere else real easy. So let's go up here and finish off the stage. There's also an extra life right here. We need to do like now we have seven extra lives. And Guys, jump up here. Uh, yeah, all these DVDs, all the turn out, you cannot take any damage from falling in the air. And now we have, so now we've got everything we can get from this stage. So we are going to exit the stage. Oh, good. No idea, I think I did it. I can't remember if I now kind of a switch, but I guess we're about to find out. This is the exit stage panel, what it does is it kind of lets you exit the stage. Notes off a little bit behind you, you just collect it counts as your best notes for. Yeah. So notes open these magical note doors. Which, yeah, okay, we did it. So, so alright, we are going to go out of here. And if you wander too far from the stage as one of my best inspirations, you get weak and he turns you back into the very big rock again. And you turn back to normal. So since we have done all of that already, we are going to go open this note door. And that will be it for this one. So this one. But since we're doing a hundred percent gameplay, we should not be a problem for us because we're going to get all a hundred notes off of each stage. And he's going up right here. Let's open the screen. And for today, we are not going to go any further, but I will go ahead and show you what happens if you fail to save Kitty or save an object. This is what happens if she manages to actually turn Kitty. Well, you'll see just right. So what happens is Grunty becomes hot and thick. She's not as pretty as my girlfriend now. And here comes Mumbo because he's gonna simp for Grunty because Mumbo's just a simp. <laughs> and he wants Grunty to come back to his skull. And here comes Tootie. And um, I can imagine she's pretty mad that Bango didn't manage to save her. And that's the game over for me. After you save and quit. I think the same thing plays if you run out of lives too. Ooh, yeah, um, that's all for today. I think you got this. <clears throat> so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Uh, I guess goodbye. Until later. I'm gonna go sleep right down there really quick or something like that. Bye! Say bye. Can you say bye? Say bye. She's not saying bye. <laughs>